Welcome back to the channel. So the last time we finished up all the machining on the number 33 steam horizontal mill engine. So now we're going to prep it for paint. But before Before we do that, I want to make a pulley to go on this end here. It doesn't call for one in the plans, but I think it <clears throat> just looks better. Looks more finished but with a pulley on here. So what I want to try to make is a what you would call a paper pulley. So it's if you look at old pieces of equipment, a lot, a lot of times instead of a metal pulley, it's got a, like a cast iron hub and there's thin sheets of paper that is stacked in between to make the surface that the belt runs on. So I wanna sort of make something that simulates that. So my idea is I'm gonna have a piece of brass here in the middle that's gonna be bored through to fit on the end of the crankshaft and there'll be a set screw here that'll hold it on. Then I'm gonna cut a thin piece of brass that'll actually get soldered to this center section and then stack in a lot of bunch of little pieces of I have some thin cardboard that I can cut out and then put another brass piece on the end and then there will be four screws that go through here goes through the paper and then holds holds all this together so I've got some thin cardboard that I've marked out here and I've made some little discs these are not to the final size this just gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. These will get sandwiched between some brass. And then when I'm trying, when I make pulleys, I try to use up as much of my scrap as I can. So I've got this random piece of scrap brass here. So we're going to turn this down round on the OD and then split it in half and then bore out the ID. And then I've got a piece of brass that will turn down to fit inside of this and it'll fit on the crankshaft. And then we'll bolt all that together and sandwich it together. So I'm not going to, not sure how this is going to turn out. Never made one of these this way, but we'll find out. So we'll get it on the, get it set up on the lathe and start machining on it.
Okay, so we got everything painted and got everything put back together and I think it turned out pretty good. So I'll give you a quick tour, tour here. And then we'll hook some air to it and go ahead and run it one more time after it's been painted. So I really like the black and brass. Gives it a nice, nice contrast. And then the flywheel I left bare just because I like that look better. And then you can see the paper pulley here that I made, how that turned out. Got that on there with a little 080 screw. So on this floor, I did make half inch by half inch to make it look like it is checkered. So I just took a straight edge and clamped the straight edge on there, square, and then took a scribe and scribed a really, really deep marks on here and then just did it both directions and made half inch by half inch squares all the way across. I think it looked pretty good. It makes it kind of look like it has a tile floor. So we'll get the uh, airline hooked up to this and run it one more time. Okay, so I got the air hooked up. Give everything a little bit of oil. Let's turn it on and see what happens. About 10 pounds right there. About five pounds. And it'll run down to about two pounds. So there we go. That's going to complete the Elmer's number 33 horizontal mill steam engine. So this entire engine, again, was built with just a lathe and a drill press. Somebody had posted the question on the smokestack forum if this engine could be built with just a lathe and a drill press because they had limited space and that's all they had available. So that's what I decided to try to do was to try to build it using just a lathe and the drill press. And it turned out pretty good. There's some interesting setups that you have to do. Have to do a little bit of thinking. Some stuff that would be easier if you was using a milling machine. It's a little bit hard to see with the milling attachment when you're machining the small stuff like the valve because it's just tight in there and it's just hard to see. But it can be done. So that's going to do it for this series come back next time and we're going to start on a whole new engine thanks for watching